Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, this month is World Watercolor Month. So, I thought I would try to do a 30-day challenge. And I'm a couple days late. Today's July 3rd. So, I missed the first two prompts. You can find those on doodlewash.com. Um, and today's prompt is dainty. So I decided to do a dainty lavender flower. So, and I'm gonna do those with Daniel Smith, Prima Tech, Amethyst Genuine, and Jadeite Genuine. And, you know, like I said, you know, if I don't post them here, go find me on Instagram. I'll try to post them over there. But I'm going to try to do something every day. I'm going to challenge myself. So, I'm just making sure I'm in focus. So, here we go. My materials are, this is just a piece of amethyst I have, just to lay there to look pretty. And... Uh, lavender as my reference photo. Um, there's a couple flowers. Most of the flowers haven't opened up yet, but there's a couple that have. And then I got my Winsor & Newton Series 7 number 2 brush. The bristles are kind of splayed, but if you get it wet in water, it goes back to a nice point. So, and then I have my Daniel Smith Amethyst Genuine and Jadeite Genuine, my palette paper, and my Etcher sketchbook. My paper towel over here and my water's up to my right. So, I'm just going to squeeze just a little bit out here on my palette paper. And then we'll get started. I can take that Amethyst Genuine and I can mix it with that Jadeite Genuine and, oh, there's my phone. I always forget to turn that off. So I'm going to come out and, you know, I think that's a pretty close color to what I am looking at straight out of the tube. Let's get over here and get this Jadeite Genuine, which is kind of dark. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to mix that with some of this Amethyst Genuine and dull it down and add a lot of water. Hopefully I won't drip and I'm going to get a test paper and test my colors. Let me see here. Hmm. Could use a little bit more green. might have to add some let's get some more water and just thin this down let's see if we can get that's better but it looks the stem looks a little sap so, I have some sap green over here to my right on a different paper. Let's, let's go straight in. Well, that is just a little bit too grainy. I think if we mix it with this, it'll be right on.
get our mixes right. There we go. It just had a little coolness to it. So that's what I'm going to use. So let's just go in first with the, let's see, let's get a plan of attack for this. And start off with just some little flowers. And we'll go just a little messily. And I'm just going to go down and just kind of stipple. And I'm going to skip some space because there are some spaces in these, between these blooms. And I'm going to go in with a little bit darker and just tap here and there. I love these Edger sketchbook. The paper in them is so nice. Okay. So here we go over here with this other one. We're going to come up a little higher. And I'm just... Just tip tapping. Coming down, and I'm going to. Just not much detail at all. I'm going to take that down that way, get a little dark pigment. Drop it in. Okay, let's do one more. Let's come out this way. Just intentionally leaving some white space in the middle. And I snipped off, there's a couple leaves down at the base of each one, and I'll represent those. back in and tap some dark towards the center. I like it when it bleeds. Some of my paper still a little is a little dry. So it's just kind of dotting there. 
that's okay. And go back over here. I just want to get some areas of shadow and represent all oh, that color is so pretty. You probably can't see it on camera, but there is a little sparkle to it. A little spider on my desk. Teeny tiny one. Okay. So let's go back into that green. Grab some of it. Not very much. And come in and just That might have been a little bit thick. Okay, let's go down. I'm not going over the flower. I'm just coming down the center and skipping over some. Making a couple of leaves there. Okay. Do I need anything else? I think I'm going to... Make a couple of grayish, grayish, greenish buds there. And just give it a little bit of shadow and dimension. I always like different colors. In there so it'll look natural. Let's get some of this. Come over that stem just to kind of cover up those hard edges. I'm just kind of, I'm not going from the reference photo now. I'm just kind of going on my own. It's Saturday, July 3rd. We're going to have some festivities tonight over at my son's house. First time since they were born that we've not had it here at our house. But we got rid of our pool and they have a pool. So... I'm going to put a little shadow on these. It's 
stems. Just try to be very gentle. Doesn't look exactly like it. However, it is a dainty flower. So, there we go. And I hope you have a for happy 4th of July. I will do my sketch but I will post it over on Instagram. So follow me over there at Denise Smith Creative. And hope you have a happy 4th. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And, you know, I'd like to see your... Um, if you decide to do the World Watercolor Month, I'd like to see your paintings. So I'm going to label this as Dainty. This is my version of Dainty. Sign my name, 7321. So I'm going to try to do this challenge every day for until. July 31st, and I'm going to try to go something with the prompt. These are Daniel Smith, Primatech. I did grab a little Daniel Smith sap green, and uh, this is the at your sketchbook. It is wonderful. I'll put links below to this uh, where you can get it, and the Daniel Smith Primatech. Um, there's a lot of controversy out there. But I really like them. So, talk to you later, guys. Oh, I think that's really pretty. Amethyst Genuine and Jadeite Green and Jadeite Genuine and Sap Green on the Etcher Sketchbook. Talk to you later. Bye.